Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share and play. Today I'm just doing up some journal cards. I had a lovely time with my guillotine this week. My empty boxes were taking up so much room that I thought I've really got to just cut these down and then I can just grab a ready-made piece of card to decorate up for a journal or a writing space or whatever I want so much easier so now I've got all these lovely pieces that I can grab now what I did was I decided I'd just gesso over some and see what happens when I try out that these ones I just did plain gesso and this one I actually did a slightly thicker coat but then I put some molding paste over the top not sure if you can see that and it was awesome because there was still some um, black that from the last time I'd stamped through um, my little molding paste stencil and so I actually got a little bit of texture so anyway I thought I'd have a go I tried this one up yesterday and I put it under my mat to press it and <laughs> I got it a little bit torn off so all I'll do is I'll just put a flower or something on that so what will I put on that maybe a cluster I tend to have a few clusters ready-made so why don't we try one of those maybe might not be a cluster of course uh, hmm what's in that kind of pattern oh, I don't know if it is a cluster because of that ribbon on top what about some kind of a fussy cut butterfly would work oh and there's a rose another little rose there you go why don't I just put a little rose and a little butterfly on it something like that I think that'll work I'm not even going to ink around the edge of that oh how no I am I, I have to I just, I just can't not do it all right so just do a very very light go though just to give it a little bit of definition let it sort of meld into the background there actually that does work give it a bit more definition all right so glue are you going to work for me are the glue gods with me who knows all right I don't think there are any glue gods but if there were I don't think they're ever with me <laughs> all righty uh, which way you can go that way you can sort of look towards the rest of the piece and I'm terrible at pasting these things on. Where's my scrap paper? There we go. Might try a glue stick. I should, um, some people I know do, when they cut these, they actually also cut sticky backings that go on top of them. And that seems to be, oh, what have I put that on top of? Nothing? I've just made a massive mess. Okay. So maybe that wasn't such a great idea to do it that way let's see if I can clean myself up here hmm maybe not all right so that glue stick was really soft obviously oh but I might have been able to save you now you're not going to stick down at all okay go on you can do it you can do it oh I think I think I might have saved you but you know We'll have to wait later. So there you go. I think I've, you know, fixed that up. Let's try doing a brand new one. And let's very, very quickly put you down because you're globbing out. Okay, today is not going to be a good glue day. <laughs> I can tell already. Uh, you know, I actually did want to add a stamp on top of that other one. I forgot about that. I think brown is what I'm going with. I just want to add a little bit over the top as well. Because I've got some underneath, but I just thought it might make it all go in together a little bit if I do it over the top. It's my theory. All right, that's enough. Stop fussing. All right, I will. So all I did was I grabbed serviettes. I don't think I'm showing anything new here, but it's just nice to, you know, sit down and pretend I'm crafting with all you guys here with me. 
I really miss when I was younger, I used to go and do those lovely weekend craft workshops. We had an amazing creative center near us in the Blue Mountains. Yeah, those days, they were just lovely sitting there with all the men and women who would come along and sometimes it was a free open thing and it was all different artists together. So you had basketers and weavers and macrame artists and all those different things. Um, and I haven't ever really discovered anything that's quite as good as what we had there. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. Why don't I just sand you back a bit just to make sure that I've got a bit of a surface there. All right. Shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. You're grooving. Shake, shake. Let's just change key. Glue, glue. Gluing around. We'll see if this one works, hey? You never know. Maybe I just needed to warm up a little bit. Oh, I've been making all sorts of things this morning. I actually even had a go at the Margaret Miller challenge this morning. I didn't film it. I just wanted to have a go and see how I went and try and stick to just the prompts so I did the first week and I chose as something magical our trip that we had my husband and I it was with his work but we got to go to Hong Kong which was wonderful because it was before all the unrest and so I feel very blessed to have managed to get there when we did but oh, I found that place completely magical I really loved it so different to Australia so full of rich culture and different unique places and even smelt different it was amazing um, so anyway that was what I chose for my magical thing I don't think it's really what was intended but you know it's all about how you interpret it isn't it and then oh yeah and then I'll fold that over should I be talking about what I'm doing probably um, <laughs> here I've just literally separated a napkin did I separate the top? Oh, I don't know if I did. No, I did. I did. This is a single sheet. Whew. It's okay. Everybody relax. No need to panic. Should we make it go that way? It wasn't the way I pasted it down, but I think that works. Now, what else did I do? I grabbed a piece from my scraps. For that one, it was music. But I always keep... Oh, there's another music one. Why don't we try another music one? Maybe from the top this time. Yeah, that works. Better grab my inker because you know that I'm going to ink. Let's not pretend. I really do love defining those edges, and I can't, I just can't, can't, can't imagine how people I've seen them, they're so amazing. Like Wendy, when they do these incredible pieces that have a beautiful rustic feel and they haven't inked a thing, um, I find that amazing talent. Me, not that talented, so I ink. <laughs> I guess it's all different styles, isn't it? And you always want someone else's style. But if you get to the end and you've enjoyed yourself, then I think that is half the battle. All right. So this is probably my biggest problem when I'm collaging. I don't plan. I just keep building. Oh, if you see my Instagram, I created the most amazing texture the other day. And literally because I just kept collaging and or well, painting and didn't like the result and kept going and yeah, I just kind of evolved. Or maybe here, or maybe here. Oh, you've got a bit of music on the edge. Why don't we put you there? In actual fact, oh, there you go. We can even stick you down because you can still feel the glue from underneath because of that tissue. So that works. I was going to move you, but now I won't. Now, how about we put you in there without a bit of ink? How's that? How's that? Bit of ink and non-ink on the one thing. All right. Ah, there we go. Come on, stick down. I think that's almost finished. You know, I might use this in the top on this one. So... Have I got a little bit of stuff? What kind of stuff 
will I put over you? What about if I just use you? Yep, I like that. I believe that is finished if I just put you down. Just a nice bit of paper. It looks like the edge of a book page that I've used somewhere. And I usually try and save all the bits of the book pages when I tear them out of my books. I don't know what you guys do. Who else does that? Anyone? Put a thingy bob in the top. I don't know, that's about the middle. Then, and I'll also do my corners. Oh, so much going on. And the last corner. Get out of there so I can do the next one. Thank you. Dear me, oh my. All right, grab my brown. And if I get the tip of that, I remember Pam at Paper Outpost showing us this, that these makeup sponges are fantastic because you can get into the holes that you make. Isn't that cool? Well, I think it's cool anyway. All right, so now I'll just go back to using my regular dauber and all I need to do is paste something on the back and put a bit of ribbon through. So I like making up more than one when I'm creating something. Yeah, I like doing a, a heap up at the beginning. Oh, you know what? I didn't do any stamping. Let's do some stamping. How about we put some clocks on this one? Did I put clocks on the other one? No, I didn't. All right, there we go. Clocks. So we've got a bit more now. I think that's probably enough, really. I'll just put a little bit of music in there. And there we go. Done. All right. Did I do enough? Um, where is my ruler? It's got a big bow so I can see it and I still lose it. I'm tearing the wrong way here. Should tear the bigger piece. Should hold on to the bigger piece when you tear because then it works better. But you know, if I followed my own rules, what would the world come to? <laughs> ah, right. I'll just tear you down a bit more. I don't like that little corner bit, so I'll get rid of you. And I am just going to stick you down as is. So that's fine. So yeah, these come together really quite quickly. So I think I might whitewash a few more. Sometimes I just cover them with whatever paper or something I want to use, like wrap it around and then obviously you don't see it. But this would be another way that I could prepare them and I could have a whole heap ready whitewashed in case I want to have a different look. So voila, that's that little guy. And let's put his little ribbon in. What ribbon? Hmm. Now there's a question. What about this one? The thing is that comes apart a little bit. Oh, what about that little sweet one? Maybe with that? Oh, how about the music? Let's do the music. There we go. If I pop you through, and then this time I'm actually just gonna staple you because that is just fine. Ready, and one, two, three. Okay, and get my scissors, chop off that excess there. Voila! One little journal tag ready to go into a book. I can, I'll can. i leave that as it is because if I'm going to use it in a book I may decide that I want to add something like a butterfly or some, whatever the theme is that I'm doing in that particular book at that time. This time I'm going to tear this with a bit of an edge like that because I'm thinking I'd like to use the molding paste there. I don't really want to go over it because I really like how it came out. So I'll just, there we go. There we go. And how do I want to do that? Do I want to do it at an angle? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think I do. Let's do that. Let's put something underneath at the top. Oh, that's right. I've got all this paper, haven't I? Anything in there? What about the back of that envelope? Nah. What about just a piece of brown paper? I think that would be nice. Or a bit of dictionary. Let's try the next box. That's a bigger box. That's the edge of a bit of a paper bag. I think I'm going to try that. And I'm going to add a bit of a text bit at the bottom. Yeah, all right, let's start sticking that down. I like that sitting over the top edge. I think that would be good. So I, this is why I tend to keep a few scraps. And I had so many that I thought I really need to start using them up, which is why I thought 
I'd cut up some card to make some bookmarks and journal cards and you know these this one maybe I could do it as a pocket like not put the hole in the top and let it be a pocket or even put the hole in the top and let it be a pocket my hair that won't work um all right so let's stick you down go away hair cut all my hair off I shouldn't be having hair all over the place still obviously it has other designs blue down there oh I wanted to stick you out so put you on the on the the bit bit <laughs> all right I definitely need my bone folder why have I lost it okay there it is there it is all righty let's see I think you work I don't know if I do want that much sticking out the top though, but I am going to this time, I'm going to just stick you around. But the nice thing is you could keep that massive big bit of serviette or napkin as they are in America. Um, you could keep that nice bit of serviette as, uh, you know, for another piece. It's amazing how far one serviette can go. I'll just stick you over the top again. So actually, there's a torn bit on the corner there. So actually, this is going to be, that's all right. I think it can just be loppy sided like that. So that's just a bit of a quicker one. I'm gonna just dirty that up a little bit and I will add a little bit of writing. I don't know if I need other stamps on this. I think that might be enough. In fact, yes, I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to use this as a pocket. I think that's kind of cool. So things could go in behind it. So I'm not going to pop a tag. So really very much the same as these, just that this one is as a pocket. So I hope you enjoyed. You can like and subscribe below. And as always, keep creating. See you next time. Bye.